What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here with a new reading of the Bitcoin Optech Group newsletter today, number 20, on November 6, 2018. This week's newsletter contains a security notice about the C Lightning implementation of BEC32 address decoding, an analysis of temporary reduction in the number of SegWit blocks, a link to an interesting discussion about future features for Lightning Network payments, and a few notable code changes in popular Bitcoin infrastructure projects. Action items. BEC32 security update for the C implementation. If you use the reference implementation of BEC32 addresses decoding for the C programming language, you need to update to fix a potential overflow bug. Other references implementations are unaffected. See the news section below for details. News. A temporary reduction in SegWit block production. Optech investigated reports that a mining pool has stopped producing blocks that include SegWit transactions. We found that the number of SegWit blocks decreased suddenly around October 20th and began rebounding towards a normal a few days ago. A simple explanation of this sudden decrease and rebound could be a minor misconfiguration by default. The Bitcoin Core does not produce SegWit including blocks in order to maintain the get block template compatibility with old pre-SegWit mining software. When miners change their software to or configuration, it's easily possible to forget to pass the extra flag to enable SegWit. To illustrate how easy it is to make this mistake, the example below calls the get block template with its default parameter and its segwit parameter and then compares the results by the total potential block reward, which is subsidy plus fee each block template could earn. And as we see here with default parameters, that is without the block reward, uh, without segregated witness, uh, we see that the block reward is 12.543 Bitcoin. And with SegWit enabled, the Coinbase value is 12.56 Bitcoin, which is 2 million Satoshis more. So peers enable SegWit. As you can see, a miner who enabled SegWit would have earned more income than a non-SegWit miner if one of those example block templates had been mined. Although a small difference in absolute terms due to the current almost empty mempool, about 2 million Satoshis or 100 US dollars, in relative terms, the SegWit including example block template received almost 50% more fee incoming than the legacy only template. As mining is expected to be a commodity service with thin profit margins, this seems to be enough for an incentive to get miners to create SegWit including blocks. And it will only become more important in the future as more users switch to using segregated witness, the block subsidy decreases and perhaps fees increase. Bitcoin Core version 0.17.0.1 updated Bitcoin's built-in documentation for get block template to mention the need to enable SegWit. And it has been proposed in developer discussions to enable SegWit get block template by default in some future version, but still provide a backwards compatible option to disable it. Overflow bug in the reference C language BEC32 implementation. Trezor publicly disclosed a bug they discovered in the reference implementation of the BEC32 address function for the C programming language. A patch has been released fixing the bug, and the bug no longer affects user of other reference implementations written in other programming languages. As Trezor's responsibility disclosed the bug to multiple other projects, they learned from Ledger about an additional bug in the Trezor crypto library for Bitcoin Cash style <coughs> Bcash style addresses that used the same basic structure as Bitcoin BEC32 addresses. A patch for that has also been released. 
discussion about improving Lightning Network payments. In advance of an upcoming meeting between Lightning Network developers, Rusty Russell started a discussion about two problems he thinks could potentially be solved using scriptless script as described in newsletter number 16. An invoice can only be paid a maximum amount of times. It would be nice for multiple people to be able to pay the same invoice, such as a static donation invoice or a monthly recurring payment. The protocol does not provide proof of payment by a particular spender. You can prove that a particular invoice was paid and that invoice could commit to the identity of a person who was supposed to pay it. But both the spender and the node who help route the payment to the recipient all have the same data about the payment. So any one of them could claim to have sent the payment themselves. Optech recommends. If you're looking for more news about the Lightning Network, check out Rene Picard's new weekly collection of the best tweets about Lightning Network and what people are building with it. Follow Rene on Twitter to get the latest news and check out the previously published issues 1, 2, and 3. Notable code changes. Notable code changes this week in Bitcoin Core. LND, C Lightning, and Lipsex 256K1. A Bitcoin Core merge adds support for the import multi RPC for SegWit address and scripts, pay to witness public key hash, pay to witness script hash, pay to script hash wrapped segregated witness. A new witness script parameter fulfills the same role as SegWit in the redeem script parameter of pay to script hash. Also, a solvable parameter is added to the get address info RPC to let the user know whether the wallet knows uh, the redeem script or witness script of the pay to script hash and pay to witness script hash address. For example, whether it knows how to create an unsigned input for spending payments to that address. A LND merge adds a, no a configuration option that allows a node to reject new channels being opened with an initial push of funds. This eliminates an occasional problem merchants are seeing where inexperienced users receive a bold 11 invoice for some amount of money, realize that they don't have a channel open, and so manually open a channel with an initial payment of the invoiced amount. This manually issued payment is not associated with the unique invoice, so the user does not receive the product or service they attempted to purchase, and the merchant needs to manually issue a refund, if they can. Merchants who enable the new configuration option provided by this pull request will be able to automatically prevent users from making this mistake. And a steel lightning merge fixes the overflow bug in big back 32 decoding as described in the news sections. Peers subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter, a wealth of information and the usual thank you go out to the amazing contributors to this open source group. Peers, thank you very much for listening and see you on the next show. Bye bye.